afternoon students today we will learn control statements in cubase so what are the control statements there are two types of control statements one is branching statement and another is looping statement under branch branching statements we will learn about if then if then else then select case then go to yes in this class you will learn about if then command what is if then command if then command is used to compare whatever statement is written under the if statement that will be checked if it is true then the statement uh, statement written under the if statement uh, after then is printed otherwise if it is false then the statement under the else is printed now let's take a example so that you can understand more properly what we want to do so here we are uh, we will write a program in this program we will check whether a number is equal to 10 or not if the number is equal to 10 then it will be printed yes the number matched and if it is not equals to 10 then it will say that numbers didn't match okay so let's start first i will write cls then i will write input yes i will take the input from the user whatever number he will give it is equal to 10 or not that we will check using the if statement let's take the for input enter one number here i will give colon so that you can understand uh, properly and one space after that you will take the number now the next condition is if then statement now if i will read the if statement if a equals to 10 yes this is the statement for comparison that if a the value of a is equal to 10 or not if it is equal then i will print the numbers has matched and if it is incorrect if the num value of a is not equals to 10 then i will print the number didn't match now the most important thing i have to end the program by writing end if statement if you don't write the end if statement if state statement will not be closed then i will write end now let's start the run the program you can see it is asking me one output i am giving 10 the numbers matched next again i will run the program now i will give 20 see the number didn't match so now let's take another example going on to the next problem let's learn about another control loop statement go to the go to helps us to jump to a particular line number so you can see the syntax go to line number line level then under if condition also we can use the go to statement it sends a procedure to a line label or a line number in the program now let's start the program actually when i was writing the program i have never mentioned the line number but now on i will mention the line number and that is also called the line label so whenever i will write a single statement i will mention the line uh, label so see cls is labeled as number 10 line number is 10 now next i am writing let n equals to 1 so what is this program this in this program i will print numbers from 1 to 10 using the if statement and go to statement so i am taking let n equals to 1 and under the if uh, see if is line number 30 under the if statement i will write if n is less than 10 then print n that means whenever n is less than 10 it will print the value of n now i will uh, i will miss one line here i will tell you why i am doing this now next i will write go to 30 that means i will go back to 30 if the statement is true okay see it is under the if statement and if the condition is false then it will go to else statement where it will say end of program now i will end if then i will write end see everywhere i have mentioned the line number so when i will run this program it will give me input as one for infinite number of times because i have missed one statement here and why i have missed that i will tell you you can see here what is happening i am uh, giving the uh, i have given the value of n is equal to 1 now i am uh, i am comparing n less than 10 or not one is always less than 10 so every time it is true and it is running infinite number of times now i will add a statement after the print n statement i will say and i will give the line number as 5 why i will give line number as 5 because i want to tell you that line level is uh, not compulsory that this line number will be here and there 
it you can give the line numbers according to your choice that i want to show you so i am writing here n equals to n plus 1 so that means the value of n will increase each and every time now see and the program step by step now first i have given the value of n equals to 1 so then i am comparing if n is less than 10 yes 1 is less than 10 so it will print n that is 1 the value of 1 it will print then it will move on to the next statement n equals to n plus 1 so 1 plus 1 equals to 2 then again it will move back and it will go to statement line 30 that is after it is becoming 2 it will go to if statement and it will check again is if 2 is less than 10 yes it is uh, less than 10 so now again it will print 2 after it has print 2 again it will go to the next statements again it will be like n equals to n plus 1 so now the value of n is 2 so 2 plus 1 it will become n will become 3 again it will go to go to statement so again it will go back to line number 30 that is if condition yes 3 is less than 10 again it will come back it will check uh, print 3 then it will again increase so likewise it will go uh, it will go till an till 9 when it will become 9 so the now the value of n is equals to 9 so again it will print 9 after that n equals to n plus 1 so 9 n equals to 9 plus 1 so it will become 10 so 10 is less than 10 no false so it will now go to the s statement now then it will print end of program so the output is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now let's move on to the next question Next we will see how we can use if else statements to check a string value. Whenever we are having a string value, how we can check that, that we will see now. Now I am writing CLS, then input, enter your name. I am taking the D variable, uh, it is a string variable D dollar. So now I will check if D dollar equals to Radhe or not. Yes, I will check if whether the name is equal to Radhe or not. If it is equals to Radhe, then it will print he is a good boy and else it will print study hard. I will end the end if statement with end if then end. Now I will run the program. I am giving the input Radhe. He is a good boy is the output. Now I am, I am giving something else. Say I am writing Ajay. So you see it is giving study hard. Now I will give input Radhe but R as capital and the rest in small letter see then also it is giving me study hard why we are giving some input statement it is uh, case sensitive so it will check if the letters are matching according to case or not that if it is in uppercase everything should match in b in uppercase then only it will match if it is in lower case see here in the in the case in the if statement i have written everything in uppercase so here when i have given first letter in uppercase and rest in lower case it is telling that uh, it is not matching so it is printing the else part of the statement so it is telling us study hard so that's all for today we will learn more programmings in qbasic and next from next day we will start graphics in qbasic so try these programs at home thank you have a nice day